Good evening and welcome to Pine Boys, Pine Boys Angling Adventures and tonight we're going to do some product talk and we're going to talk about Dave's Tangle Free Weights. Now I've had these weights for a whole season now and I can tell you I am totally impressed. Now the main theory behind these weights is um, when Dave made them he wanted to be lead free and he wanted to be tangle free. And as you can see that these are made, they're plastic coated and they're steel on the inside. And they really are, I mean, for a weight, for the most part, pretty much tangle free. I've lost maybe two or three the entire season. The only reason I run out is, you know, I give them away. You know, the buddies that want to rig like I rig. Now, Dave designed these. If you can see these two rigs, this tangle free method, you, you know, it has a couple different swivel, you know, you got to use some O rings there and the quick snap method. These are meant to be used with floats. Uh, for steelhead and they've worked really really well and it's caught on um, I've I in the past have used different sort of um, steelhead floats and shotting patterns and stuff to drift uh, freshwater fish and so when I saw that he used the same floats which is this float um, a throw float on one of the pictures I saw I'm like I gotta get involved you know these that's the exact float I use, you know what I mean? Those go right hand in hand with my multi-species fishing. So I use these in a, in a few different ways. And the first one was pretty obvious, and it, it's close to this. But, here I'll show you. I just don't use the snap. Alright, he, he has weights that come with... He has weights that come with this, and he has weights that come with this, this T-slider, I like to call it. He's probably got another name for it. But I have that going down to going down to the swivel. Alright, so basically what happens is this weight sits on the bottom, and then this float is up here, alright? It's up here and it's it's laying flat on the surface when I use it. When I'm fishing for cats and carp, it's really just acting as a strike indicator. So the fish picks it up, doesn't feel the weight. Like this comes up to the bobber stop, float goes under, I set the hook, and I have uh, a channel cat, flathead, or, or carp on it. I've used it quite a bit now. I, I can still drift it, you know, nice and slow, using the same method that he did for steelhead. Um, just for those species, I'm almost always holding it still. So then, another thing that I wanted to do is, you know, I do a lot of bottom fishing again for, you know, gar, um, catfish, flatheads. Flathead catfish and, and carp. All right, now this is meant to be for a carp rig. This right here, it's meant to be for a carp rig. All right, um, this part here is supposed to snuggle up against your swivel. All right, and you snuggle the, the swivel. Let's <laughs> niggle. The swivel. The swivel snaps in to right here, and then it pops off. But I don't like using swivel. I wanted. I like this because I think it keeps it nice and neat. It, it also helps with keeping it sag free um, it's not rubbing up against my line it's protecting my line fish don't feel it and I use it as a running ring all right so another thing that makes this so great is like right now I have a smaller weight say there's hardly any current well now I want to fish in front of a dam and I want to go bigger and better I take that off and put this on Smush these two I don't know what these are called you know, hardcore carp guys, you know, short ang and tournament anglers, carp eight tournament anglers would know. But I got them at a carp shop. Alright, and now this thing moves all the way up and down. So whether I'm fishing shad or a hair rig with, with boilies or I'm fishing crawlers, you know, uh, live you know, live suckers, cut bait, this this rig has worked perfectly. And then, you know, I'm casting this thing straight down river. So when I'm pulling it up, nine out of ten times, you know, if it dragged and hit a rock this way, I'm pulling it back towards my yak this way because it, you know, it's coming back the way it came. And a lot of times when it does get snagged between a crack or something, it just it pops right out. I like I said, I've I've lost very few. So I those are my two major ways, and then there was the other one. Now obviously I don't. Obviously you can see I'm out of all most of my big sizes. I big sizes I usually I've been getting separately now. Because the little weights, I use them, but not as much. I do a lot more um, multi-species bait fishing than I do bass fishing. When I'm bass fishing, I'm usually using them for drop shot, and drop shot is not there. You know, I can't use it in every situation. So if you see this little one, I use this 
I started this in early summer when there's just a few weeds, and then when the weeds got thicker, I went to this size. Right? So then I was just be able to punch this, you know, strip and down a drop shot through the weeds, and I was using this crabby craw. Came in really handy, caught a lot of fish on this. I also caught a lot of fish on this. This is um, a crabby bass brood tube, and you can see it has wings and arms on it. This one's made solid, but you can get them hollow as well, So you, you but I like them solid. Um, to use on T rigs and drive shot rigs, and then you know you got like your you know, your French fry worm. I have a little leech bait here, and then you know another kind of creature bait. You know, and that's all great for drive shot. And I caught. I didn't have a lot of time this summer. I would get out for like oh I don't know um an hour or two, and I basically had to make that count in the summer before work. And you know I had to find those fish. You know as T rigging and drop shot and bam 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 and these weights really helped me get a lot of those fish along with the crabby bass lures um and you know those weights also i should say that i'm um in a tournament called kayak wars and uh, long story short you know there's a you got a bunch of guys you know fishing for multi-species well as far as numbers go for right now it's not by very much i may lose by the end of the season but for right now i'm running it first um and these weights and k1 baits uh carp baits have helped me get there. I've got, you know, 210 carp on the books right now um, for this season, and it's not even over yet. And that rig, this bo that bigger bottom rig I showed you is done. So this weekend I'm going to do something completely different. All right. I, are you? Trout season's coming now. With the, I can't go tomorrow opening day because you know I have kids and responsibilities. And Sunday the weather's not looking get looking good. But what I wanted to do was this is your basic double crappy rig most guys have a tiny weight on it and they'll jig it up and down or they'll slowly troll with it but what I did with it is I put hard um, heavier line on my two liters all right and because the heavier line it helps keep the, my baits out I also replaced the, the cheap Aberdeens with some some stiffer uh, laser sharp octopuses now I also used the same weight they've been using in the river and with the heavier Dave's Tangle Free Weight. So now I got the Dave's Tangle Free Weight. I have two baits in the water at any given time. And I have, you know, the large weight. Alright? Now why did I do this? Well, one reason is what trout opening, these are all hand raised trout. They're stocked. It's an opening day. The place is packed. You're surrounded by boats. So if I see some open water I need to cast real far, this weight, this float, they're gonna sail. They're gonna go, all right. And then, even if they're not, and I say I got a boat right here, you know, and I got a boat right here, and I got a boat right there, I can just drop this nine feet away from me, and it's got a loose enough tip that look. I mean, look how much this, just that rig bounces that tip. So I'm still gonna feel. That's one of the reasons I love these drift drives. You can feel a small fish get the backbone fight the fight a giant. So I can drop this straight down. Now I'm the trout are usually, you know. Be, some are at five feet, some are like 15 or 17 feet. So if this thing's at five or six or seven feet, my bobber stop's not even going to get into my reel, all right? And if it's 16 feet, you know what? This is nine feet of rod. So when I reel that thing in, it's not going to be real deep in my spool, which means it's going to come out of my line easier and it's going to make it easier for me to cast. And I'm going to have a couple rigs, I think, set up like this. And if I use both at the same time, that's four baits in the water and you're only allowed two at these four, you know, two rods with two hooks each at these forest preserves and that gives me four baits in the water when everybody else has probably two and I think it hopefully I'll be able to get out if not I will definitely try you know you know I've used this met this rig before with a smaller split a, sp a smaller weight and a smaller float for crappies but um this being deeper water and being crowded and stuff I wanted to go a little bit bigger bigger and heavier and I think this is gonna be really cool but um, as you can see, Dave's Tingle Free Weights weights are really versatile. You know, you're you know, I so all right. You know, you got your steelhead. There's guys using them for trolling, using them for sturgeon. I've got some guys using the drop shot for bass. I've used them for channel cats, flatheads, and carp. You know, I, I I can use this double rig, and I can use use it for crappies. I can use it for trout. I could use it for white bass. These weights basically in the, all the different sizes and you know they, they, they come with you know snaps so you can make so you can make this quick snap rig you know you can you can use the 
the Dave's rigging tips. Um, they come with the little T connectors on there. You know, he has different packs for different reasons and um, different weight size and different shapes too. Uh, you know, he makes a really good product and I can't say enough about it. It's been fantastic and I wish you would please give Dave's Tangle Free Weights a try. So this is um, Pond Boy for Pond Boy's Angling Adventures. Here's praying for good weather and some trout. And if I get the good weather and I get out there, I'm the, hopefully I'll have some footage. But one thing at a time, I just want to get out there. So you guys have uh, a great weekend. And this is uh, Pond Boy with some product talk. Have a great night.